What is up with it, man? Sport people back in here again with another State of Decay 3. On this video, guys, we'll be touching down another five things we need in SOD 3. Yeah, so if you haven't seen it in the last video, you guys have to go watch it. It is crazy. I, you know, I list down a couple of things that we definitely need. And, you know, some of y'all must have agreed on it. And, um, you know, we got some more interesting things to talk about as far as five things we definitely need. So, you know. Make sure guys to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, do turn notification bells as well. Cause man, there's a lot of them. I have so, so many ideas that it's like no stop. I have like almost 50 different things that we all could talk about. And you know, it's too much to, uh, to list down here because it's probably gonna be a longer video to do that. So I'll just keep doing like different videos of it. You know, so the first thing we do want to talk about is that State of K3 was trending the day of uh, the Xbox showcase, and that was crazy. Everybody was so hyped, everybody was excited. They really wanted a piece of action, a trailer, some info, something. But still, there was no luck. As you can see, it showed us what we we're supposed to get on Xbox Game Studio, and there was nothing there. I know it's pretty sad, guys. It is pretty dang sad to find out we have nothing yet. Another year to wait on. And I'm sure Dead Labs is working on some crazy stuff, you know. I'm, I'm sure they're working on a little something, something back there. But here are a couple of things that I would love to see on State of K3. Now, the first one has to be this one. More vehicle customization. State of K3 can introduce more options for customizing and upgrading vehicles, such as adding armor, weapons, and other modifications to make them more effective in combat or more suited for exploration. Now, you let me know. Is this the customization that you want? Cause we gotta see some brand new cars and clothing and stuff like that. That's the one thing everybody wants. Number two is going to be new resource management systems. The game could introduce new forms of resource management, such as managing limited fuel supplies or scavenging for rare resources needed for crafting or upgrades. Now, if you guys didn't watch the last one, I just talked about a few things for this. So, you know, this the resource management system is something that we all would love to see coming. Number three, so reactive factions. State of K3 can introduce more dynamic factions to react to the player's actions and choices with different factions that have different goals, perks, and penalties. Now you tell me, what are the perks and penalties you want to see as far as a reactive faction? You let me know. We're about to go on to the next one because, you know, everybody loves to see things coming to the game. And if it's not Anything with trades or skills, then what kind of state of K will be seen? Number four is improved combat mechanics. State of K3 can refine and improve the combat mechanics from previous games with more robust weapons, crafting systems, improved melee mechanics, and better AI for both allies and enemies. Now, will you tell me if this is the coolest thing ever? Like having hostiles come at you if you're like driving a road or, you know, just anything that has to do with the AI on both sides would be insane, right? Now you let me know in the comments that's what y'all think. I'm about to jump on number five. Number five is going to be dynamic world evolution. The game could expand on the dynamic world mechanics from previous games with new systems that allow the player's actions to have more meaningful consequences on the world around them, such as triggering environmental changes or unlocking new areas. Now, can you imagine if we can actually like unlock areas as we go from the story? It's almost like State of K2 when you keep going, you finish and a large amount of missions you get to like go into different areas and finish and unlock more areas it kind of feels like a the division type of game you know depending on what path you choose i think this will be a really great thing to add you know as long as consequences go upon us and we just driving around doing things our business and the choices we pick will give us consequences of losing or just moving on you know whether you approach one or you just go at one, whether, you know, you want to shoot them, it's going to affect you in the long run. You know, that's just what I feel like it should add in the game. You know, there's so many changes in the game that we could actually see coming. We just don't know what Undead Labs is really thinking at this moment. But I'm sure if I keep tossing these videos to them, they might get some great ideas out of it. I'm pretty sure they can implement a lot of things added to this. And especially a lot of feedback that they would like to have so that they can polish and make the game a lot more better. So as far as everything else, we've been waiting for such a long time, you know, since 2018's uh, State of K2, 
now we're waiting for this game since, you know, now we're just waiting for it. So hopefully they do give us some news at some point in time. You know, I'm pretty sure the devs are kind of like, not frustrated, but kind of like, you know, they hear it all the time about the fans wanting the game. Well, sooner or later, um, they should, it'll be great that, you know, we got some information for it. So, make sure you guys to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, do turn post notifications on as well. Let me know what you'll think in the comment section. You know, if uh, there's something that you guys have in mind as for another five things added to the game, you let me know in the conversation and I'll go from there. Today, Swoopy One, setting up.